In this video, we will be looking at a simple example of logistic regression by rep trying to represent OR gate as a classification problem. So, let me show you what I mean here. We all know what the OR gate is. It takes in two inputs, let us call them x 1 and x 2 okay. and x 1 and x 2 are always 0 or 1. So, let us call this x vector. So, 0 or 0 gives you 0, 0 or 1 gives you 1. So, even if one of these two inputs is 1, we get a 1. This is a simple logic gate. Suppose we represent this as a figure, let us take x 1 here, x 2 on this axis. So, 0 0 gives us 0 and the other give us 1. So, let x represent 0 and let the circle represent 1. Okay. What we want to do is to find out an algorithm or a logistic regression which will classify at least these 4 points correctly. You can see this as a binary classification problem where 0 is O is one class and x is another class. Okay. Now, intuitively we can see that if I draw a line somewhere in the middle here, one side of the line will be classified correctly as x and the other side of the line will be classified correctly as O. But we will try and do this mathematically. So, remember we can represent our logistic regression as a simple neural diagram as follows you have x 1, you have x 2, these two combine here, your summation z is equal to w 1 x 1 plus w 2 x 2 plus a bias unit w naught followed by a sigmoid and our prediction y hat is sigmoid of z. Okay. Finally, we classify after this as our prediction is 1 if y hat is greater than 0 0.5 and it is 0 if y hat is less than 0 0.5, we can just arbitrarily decide that the equal to sign goes to 1. Okay. So, the question we are asking is what weights w 0, w 1, w 2 all put together basically w vector will classify the same as the OR gate. If we do that, we have essentially represented the OR gate as a simple neural network okay, or as a simple logistic regression network. Okay. So, let us try these values here. Now, if I want this, let us back calculate this whole value and see we can come up with, if we can come up with some weights. So, if I want my classification as 0, it means y hat has to be less than 0.5. Okay. Let me write that here, y hat has to be less than 0.5, here it has to be greater than 0.5, greater than 0.5, greater than 0.5. y hat is sigmoid of z, we remember that the sigmoid function works this way. You 
if this is z and this is sigmoid of z then at 0 your sigmoid of z is 0 0.5 whenever z is greater than 0 sigmoid is greater than 0 0.5 whenever z is less than 0 sigmoid is less than 0 0.5. So, now let us now find out what z has to satisfy if sigmoid of z has to be less than 0 0.5 then we know that z has to be negative. Similarly, for these three z has to be positive. Okay. Now, we also know what z is, z is w naught plus w 1 x 1 plus w 2 x 2. So, let us consider this case both x 1 and x 2 are 0, we want z to be negative which means automatically that w naught has to be negative. Also notice that without w naught we could not have made this possible at all. If you just have w 1 x 1 plus w 2 x 2 that is a simple linear combination of x 1 and x 2 without this affine without this bias term you cannot make this case work out at all. Okay. So, we know now that w naught has to be negative we also know that w 1 and w 2 have to be positive to make these cases work. So, what is one set of weights which will work let us take a simple example let us take w naught equal to minus 1 we come to this example it tells us that w 2 x 2 is active x 2 is 1 I now know that w naught plus w 2 has to be greater than 0 w naught is already minus 1 I can easily assign w 2 equal to let us say 2. Similarly, you can argue that w 1 can be made 2. So, we have come to this set of weights. Now, notice something we will come to the physical meaning of this weight soon, but note first of course, the point I said earlier is essential you cannot make this go away which tells you the need for the bias unit. Second notice that w naught w 1 w 2 are not unique. This is very important in general the results of logistic regression need not be unique. In fact, you can see this geometrically too this classifying line here whichever line we draw is arbitrary this has a lot of give you can go back and forth and still make this work you can make this inclined in several ways. Also this lack of uniqueness is due to two things you can even multiply w 0 w 1 w 2 by a constant and even that would not be unique, okay. but that is a trivial sort of non uniqueness a more actual sort of non uniqueness is the fact that this line can move back and forth it can also be translated as well as rotated a little bit and still the classification will work. So, these two are important points for us to notice now are the line that we have got is w naught plus w 1 x 1 plus w 2 x 2 is z. Remember the interpretation of the classification line is that this is the line z equals 0 which would be the line w naught plus w 1 x 1 plus w 2 x 2 equal to 0 which is the line if you write down the values x 1 plus x 2 equal to half because w 0 is minus 1 divided by w 1 and w 2 which are 2. So, this is exactly the line that bisects these two. Okay. So, that is the arbitrary set of values that we have given here you could also give the value for example, w naught equal to minus 1 w 2 equals 3 w 1 equals 3 in which case the classification line would be inclined at a slightly different angle. 
okay. So, this would be uh, it would be still parallel to this, but it will be slightly here okay. So, that would be the line w naught x 1 plus x 2 equal to 1 by 3. So, this tells you how logistic regression can be replicated or, or the OR gate can be replicated using logistic regression. In the next video, we will see how the other gates can also be replicated using log logistic regression.